Well, this week, 1,500 scientists and other medical professionals are meeting in Denver. They are some of the best in the world in researching and treating brain tumors in children. Yeah, one focus is the last incurable pediatric cancer. CBS4 Health Specialist Kathy Walsh joins us now. And this cancer that we're talking about is called DIPG. That's right. It stands for diffuse intrinsic pontine glioma. It is rare and it is universally fatal. The researchers gathered in Denver represent hope. We're looking for innovative ideas. At a meeting of great minds, little Piper Wanaka stays entertained by her tablet. But here, top international scientists are vying for funding to research pediatric brain tumors. And they are four-year-old Piper's people. They're brilliant minds, and they are our only hope. <laughs> Piper was a typical toddler until a year ago, when she began slurring her speech and losing her balance. It just went from, from no concern, you know, within a few days to the worst thing you can hear as a parent. Now. Karina Wanaka because says a biopsy confirmed a tumor in Piper's brainstem, a rare cancer called diffuse intrinsic pontine glioma, DIPG. There is no cure. Piper's had more than 30 radiation treatments. You know, that's the end of the, the end of the road with what we know today. Which is but Piper has lived longer than the average DIPG patient, a year when her parents have given her everything her heart desires. They've also given 20 percent of the proceeds from the sale of special bracelets to The Cure Starts Now, the foundation that today awarded a $50,000 grant for research. Dr. Oren Becker I, I is a researcher a at Northwestern University. And within a decade, we'll have an approved drug for the APG. Not in time for Piper, but Karina and Nelson Wanaka take comfort in knowing they're doing what they can to save hundreds of other children. About 300 children are diagnosed with DIPG in the U.S. every year. The experts say the good news is worldwide there are now about 100 researchers looking for a cure. That's great. Hopefully they'll eventually get there. I know not soon enough for yeah, many A decade families. is a long time. It but is a long time. Move it in the right direction. Exactly. Thanks, Kath.